everyone, it's Natasha. Thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to do a book haul. So I got all these amazing books from a local Christian bookstore that's actually ran by my friends. And so I love to support them when I can, especially at times like this when, you know, that is their source of income. And so shopping locally to help support them and kind of give the kids and I some things to read through over these coming weeks. So here's what I got. The first thing I got with this was this book by Christy Clover. You guys are probably familiar with her. She has a YouTube channel. I'll link it down below. But she has this book, um, Mom, Master Organizer of Mayhem, Mayhem, Simple Solutions to Organize Chaos and Bring More Joy into Your Home. What a perfect time then now to organize the chaos and bring more joy into your home. So I thought this was going to be a perfect book for me. I also got this one, The Farmer's Market Mishap. I love Wanda Brunstetter. I love Amish uh, fiction altogether, but I love Amish Brunstetter. And her books are always so, you know, easy to read and fun. And so anyway, got this for myself to read. Okay, so then I got this book, Dangerous Prayers, 50 Powerful prayers that changed the world. I've never heard of this book um, and they said that it's uh, pretty new, maybe six months or something it's been around. I'm finding I'm liking these books for bedtime reading where it just goes over like one person a day um, and we just can read through that. So that's really cool. So anyways, um, we've got all these different people like Corey Ten Boom, um, Billy Graham, Jesus Christ, Helen Keller, John Knox, uh, William Wilberforce, George Washington, etc. And then, so it's just um, a little bit of information um, about the person. So here we go. So we have Mary McLeod Bethune. I don't know if I said that. Um, so just read this about her. And then we have the prayer that she prayed. And so, um, you know, just little, here we go, George Washington Carver. Just a little bit of information to add um, to our bedtime reading. And I think this is definitely something, um, there is just Charles Spurgeon in there for any age. So, um, you know, from my four year old to my 16 year old and myself, I think, you know, we can all get something out of that one. So then I got this one, uh, Wendy Lou Lee, a Prairie devotional inspired by the beloved TV series. Okay. So I thought, this might be fun because now we've never watched the TV series. Um, okay, so here's Welcome to My Little House. But look here, it says um, season six, episode 11, to watch an episode and then do the devotional each day. Now, you know, maybe we can't do it every single day, but you know, maybe we can. So I just, I was just thinking that might be really fun. And now I don't actually know where to get the series, Little House on the Prairie. Um, but I'm going to look it up. You know, hopefully it's on uh, Netflix or something. Um, but it's just the Little House on the Prairie TV series. So anyway, it says, um, I'm going to read the back. Loyalty, hard work, and love of God, neighbor, and country have never been more cherished or needed for nostalgic fans seeking a more meaningful approach to life. A Prairie devotional offers powerful lessons drawn from the beloved TV series. That was just my idea. You know, we'll see if it works out. But I just thought that would be so fun to watch episode and then do the devotion with the teens. I mean, with all of them. But I I, um, I was specifically had in mind my teen girls with this. But my younger girls could absolutely, um, you know, do it with us too. And then I got Hero Tales. And this one is a family treasury of true stories from the lives of Christian heroes. I just saw this book recommended um, in the Midst of Blessings channel. And... She said that they use this book as part of their family devotional. And I know this is also part of my father's world. Oh, I thought this would be also something good. It looks, I like how the font is large and they're short devotions or short, um, you know, passages. And then from God's word and let's talk about it. So I kind of thought that, I was kind of thinking that these two would probably actually go really well together. Um, and then I got the Easter Storybook 40 Bible Stories Showing Who Jesus Is. I got this Mighty Reader Workbook Grade 2, Second Grade Reading and Skills Practice with Favorite Bible Stories. And I thought that was super, super neat. 
Each story offers six days of reading and skills practice, aligns with state standards, strengthens comprehension, include, uh, increases fluency, boosts decoding skills, encourages critical thinking, improves sentence writing, teaches biblical values. So I thought that was really cool, a Bible-based uh, reading workbook. So we've got um, Old Testament stories and New Testament stories, and we have reading strategies and skills there. And then we have week one, and it has um, vocabulary words, words and skills we'll be working on. And then it has, okay, so this is week one. And hello, Mighty Reader. This week we're going to read God's Seven Day Masterpiece. And then tell us about that. And then it has day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six. Okay, and there's fluency checks and all kinds of things. Okay, then I got this Braver, Stronger, Smarter, A Girl's Guide to Overcoming Worry and Anxiety. And this is by Bethany House. Section one, understanding what is worry, why me, how will this help? Section two, help, help for your body, help for your mind, help for your heart. And section three, hope, trouble, take heart, overcomer, your master plan of attack, acknowledgement and notes. And so, Reading rules for this book, go slow, don't give up, have fun. We have worked through um, what to do when you worry too much, and that was a great workbook, but it wasn't biblically, biblically based. It wasn't, there was nothing, you know, contradicting in there, but I just love that there's something you know, similar that is biblical, so that is awesome. So you see, they can draw a picture and, and things like that, but um, I figured they could always do that on other papers, because I will probably read this out loud as part of our bedtime reading to my little girls. Um, so, yeah, anyway, I just thought that was really neat when I found that. And then I got Growing Together in Truth Character Stories for Families. This memory verse. Okay, so let's see how this is done. So day one. Okay, so it's quite a bit for day one. So it's all this and that and then questions about truth, truth in action and praying together for truth. Just seven days of this. Okay, so we've got Lost and Found, Champion of the Cherokee, A Grandfather's Love, A Mutineer and a Monk, All the Children of the World for an Audience of One, Daughter of the Euphrates. Truth in Action, Reference Points, Notes, Photo Credits, A Letter from the Author, About the Author, and About the Series. So I guess a, a series. So... That's pretty cool. So I guess, you know, there's more um, character stories in the series. So that is what I got. I hope that you like this. Um, anything I can, I will link down below for you. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have a blessed day.